there is any emergencies. And I only have her lead rope and halter on because about 15 feet the other direction is cement. So if for some reason she did decide to go walk over there, then yes, I would lead her back to the grass. But the nice thing is, is she didn't, so she's safe on here. Now, as you can see, I am intervening right there because that umbilical sac is covering this foal's nostrils. So I will go in a little bit more, make sure to remove her tail and that from away from her nose so that she'll be able to breathe when the time comes right. You want to make sure this experience is calm and relaxing because she's got a big job. Look at that push. She's got a big job ahead of her. And as you can see, the baby foal is coming to life. So slowly but surely. Check out those amazing markings. And I'm just making sure to clear her passageway in this little filly because she needs to be able to breathe easy. And you can see her coming too. It's so amazing to watch them get up and look at Mama. And Mama's just like, oh, so exhausted. But all her natural instincts will kick in. And she'll be all about this baby. See, like that. Oh, it's her saying hi for the first time. Check out those. Those are hoof slippers. They protect the mare's uterus as the baby is going through and being born. The tissues will rub off as the foal starts walking on the grass. Mama is just rolling after having the baby. No worries. She did not colic or anything dangerous. She just wanted a couple rolls, and that was it, and then she stopped. As far as desensitizing, using a towel to dry your baby off is huge because you are rubbing them all over and you're getting them nice and smooth and dry but the whole thing is is it's something new foreign and you're just getting them used to people and that's huge just in those next couple minutes because they're cold they're wet and they're ready to be dry as you can see i am letting baby fully be able to do what baby wants to do and just kind of try out those new legs Mama just needed a break before she got up to start breastfeeding her little filly. This is all a great example of a very healthy baby who's very strong on her legs. As you can see, she's just here, there, everywhere. They will have natural instincts to just want to suckle and get some colostrum which is awesome and you absolutely want mama and full to have their golden hour together to be able to do that. You are going to want to work with this baby and imprint it. I usually wait. I want to make sure that mom and baby are bonding, like I said, with the golden hour. And you really want to make sure baby gets that colostrum right away. You want them to get that within the first hour to two hours. Sometimes they do take a lot longer with standing. And sometimes you do have to help hold them up to actually get the colostrum. As far as imprinting, that's so crucial. So what you're going to want to do is be able to rub all over baby, uh, your hands. You are going to want to pick up each of her hooves pick up her tail because that eventually you're going to put a thermometer in there in the future and you're going to want to go down their backs and basically pet them on their main tail especially back legs because in the future you don't want a horse that is kicking you uh, I also put my finger in their mouth. You can do this with a latex glove on just because of germs and everything like that because you're going to be worming that horse in the future, deworming them. Always make sure to be super gentle and be able to go over their eyes and their nose and their ears. And I just repeat this multiple times to really get that imprinting in their system and also, each time I go down to the barn, 
but you want to make it really nice and fun for the baby horse. So I also give lots of scratches, lots of reward with the scratches and the attention. And you want to go down to the barn as much as possible, especially that first week of that foal's life. the horns where the legs were and then this is the body this is the cervix where the hole came out of so if you look at it all now I'm the you want the when you open it up you want the inside to be a bright red color now an older placenta will be a little bit purple and then eventually it's going to turn brown so this is going to be filled with uh, nutrients and flies are going to want to come get it Sometimes uh, it's very important to save it, especially if there's any abnormalities in your foal, so that you can show your veterinarian this. Now, it just all depends, but this is a great example of what a very healthy placenta can be. Now you're looking at the same foal about a month in. So you can kind of see the difference on how thick she is. And of course, she's still loving that attention. And boom, there you go. She is two years old in this video and you can just kind of see the difference. Boy, they get big real quick. She's actually a lot bigger than her mom even. And we're working with a lot of training because we want to desensitize her. Using the flag technique is also really good, and it's really good for your horse because you want to make sure that they're calm. See how she doesn't even flinch? That's what you want. Always work with a horse's back legs because you never want them to kick in the future. Yeah, and even in here, she's just training herself as I put the blanket over her. Just zero fear. That's fantastic. That's what we love. And using lots of ropes to be able to help her because something like this is helping her for putting a saddle on in the future and leading all of it and also uh, lunging, which is with a longer rope. You just wanna be working with that baby absolutely as much as you can. Taking her and putting her into the barn brushing her by herself, making sure she doesn't get barn sour so that she only wants to be with her buddies. You want that independent horse that's ready to work with you and be your friend. This next year as a three-year-old, I will be saddling her, bridling her, and walking her around, lunging her, but I will not be getting on until she is four years old because I need to make sure that all of her joints and ligaments are completely developed as I want her long term and I want her to be healthy and happy so that she has a long future. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, just write them in the comment section. Take care.